Hey, what's up folks? This is Gray here, and today we're going to look at the EB3A by Blue Eddy. Uh, and the reason I wanted to kind of go, uh, I ask basically Blue, Blue Eddy, you know, hey, what do you have for someone who wants an entry level unit uh, to start with uh, inside of these, like these type of power stations slash inverters, uh, solar jennies, all the different names they like to go by. Uh, and they said, hey, uh, Gray, we have something coming out. Uh, that's going to be dropping this month here in June. Uh, maybe this would be right up your alley for the price point uh, and for an entry level power station. So let's kind of take a look. Uh, we'll do an unboxing of the EB3A uh, as well as look at some of the specs uh, on this guy here and see and determine is this something that you could use uh, inside of your emergency preparedness kits, you know, for your home or for your car or if you're just going camping or whatever it may be having some sort of portable power station in your arsenal of emergency preparedness. All right, so let's kind of open this box and see what's in it. All right, so let's kind of go ahead and open up this box and see what you get in the box. You know, I always used to, you know, years and years and years ago, I used to watch all these unboxing videos and whatnot, and uh, always wondered, you know, how do these folks do it? They have this really elaborate room and all this lights and, and, and all these special things in there, and I was just like, man, that room must cost like $10,000. Come to find out, it does. It does cost a lot of money to uh, set up those things. Anyways, I don't want to do a bunch of cuts and stuff like that. I want to make this as you know simple as possible and open this box and see what you get in it and uh, kind of look at the unit and what does it look like, you know? So here's the unit itself, and uh, we're going to get up close and personal, folks, uh, to this. Uh, we'll look at, uh, you know, the, the screen and stuff like that, but let's just kind of see what's inside the box. Plastic, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, like I said, this is a nice entry-level unit, and that looks like that's everything in there. And you get a nice cool box. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. And then you get a power cord. So basically, extremely simple, folks. Now, some folks are going to say, well, what about if you want to use, uh, you know, solar panels and all the other stuff like that? Yes. You can buy their, the 120-watt Blue Eddy solar panel. You can buy the 200-watt Blue Eddy solar panel. Uh, whatever you think that how fast you want this thing to charge um, Some of the initial information that I looked at so far, which is really cool is uh, This is different than say your EB uh, 55 or your EB 70 that you don't have this big loud brick Anymore, it's built into the system uh, To me, this is awesome because this is one less thing you have to lug around so you get a power cord versus a power brick inside this little unit and uh, it's quite intriguing. As a matter of fact, what I will show you guys uh, in general is that it has different modes in charging and also has like this dual charging capabilities. Um, you can use two 200 watt solar panels if that's the route that you want to go into. Uh, you can do dual AC charging. Let's say I wanted to use this, uh, if I wanted to use the brick and this power cord, I can literally use both and do dual AC charging. I can do AC uh, you know solar panel charging. There's a lot of different things you can do with this small compact powerful unit uh, And I know you guys are gonna like well, what are the specs on this gray? And uh, so we're gonna dive into that here in a second, but I just kind of wanted to show you Power cord and unit very simple. Okay uh, So now let's kind of go into the specs of it before we get up close and personal with this unit and then we'll kind of look at What's the bottom line? Is this something that's going to work for you and how you can use it? Uh, I'm not going to bore you with all the crazy testing and trying to, you know, blow this thing up. This is a very small, compact, lightweight unit. I think it comes in around 10 pounds. Compared to, uh, I have a review coming up, uh, one that's around 25 pounds. Uh, but it's a beast, but look forward to that. Anyways, also you get your instruction manual. Uh, and with every Blue Yeti product, you also get the two-year, 24-month warranty uh, on these products as well. Uh, so that being said, uh, let's dive into the specs. All right, so... Do you guys want to know the different dimensions of this? Some folks may, you know what I mean? So what we got here per the Blue Eddy website is this is uh, about seven inches in width, seven and a half inches in length, and about seven and a half inches in height. And it comes in at 10.14 pounds, basically 10 pounds, folks. Uh, what is the capacity of this? This is a 268.8 watt hour or 12 amp hour unit. It does use the lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, and uh, which is by far the technology behind the lithium iron phosphate batteries are top-notch folks 
uh, they will last you a lot longer. Uh, they don't have the tendency to overheat like the old batteries used to do. Uh, very pretty streamlined unit. Uh, and like I said, with most of the Blue Yeti products, you're going to get 2,500 cycles out of it at 80%. Basically, that's if you were to use this thing, charge it, and and deplete the energy, uh, you know, deplete the charge totally twice a day. How many folks are going to use this? A lot of folks are going to use this for emergency power. Uh, and that means, let's say, if you happen to use it uh, for that shelf life, basically, if you were to use it, uh, that much you would still get two years out of it uh, but that's only depleting the battery capability to about 80 percent just imagine so you still that has a lot more life left to it but in general folks me for what i'm going to be using this for let's say in my car or in uh you know the wife's car or whatnot as an emergency power source uh i would probably get 10 15 maybe longer years out of something like this all right um it does have the mppt controller system that's basically for your solar panels and whatnot but we'll dive more into that when we dive into the front of this and turn this thing on uh, i've learned from doing previous uh videos and reviews on this type of equipment that it's better to do this on the inside of your house because for some reason the sunlight when you're videoing this it gives it kind of like a flicker effect and i've learned a way around that uh, to make my little bit at least a little bit more professional for my end of things right uh, anyways, the inverter is a pure sine wave inverter. You have two AC outlets at 120 volts at 5 amps. And uh, you know what? Let's let's do this, folks. Before I go deeper into this, let's go ahead and just get up close to this. And uh, I will uh, just go ahead and start pointing this stuff out. We'll get up close uh, so that you can see, instead of me just rambling off a bunch of spec specifications or whatnot, we'll go ahead and just zoom up to the front of this unit here uh, and kind of give you an idea of what all these specs are. All right, folks, so let's get close up and personal with this uh, unit here, this EB3A. Uh, let's kind of go over, you know, what's on this, uh, what you have, at, you know, your inputs, your outputs, and stuff like that. And I guess I should turn this thing off. Uh, let me hold that down to turn it back. Uh, anyways, when you touch any of the buttons, of course, your screen's going to pop up. And, of course, you see my lovely face in this reflection here. But all in all, uh, this is probably the best way I'm going to be able to, to show you this and go through the... The stuff on this here all right so basically as you saw if i was to push this button here you can see where it pops up dc on the screen and then if i push this button down here you're going to see that it says ac here basically with most blue yeti products uh anything that you turn on that's going to be in the circumference of this section here is going to activate that section by turning on that power and of course you can push it again if you want to turn it off this one you hold down of course uh, and it will turn that one uh, and, you know, the screen's going to keep on going on and off, uh, but you can just touch any button, of course, and you're going to be able to see there. Now, to kind of go over real quick on the screen, this is your input, this is your output, this is how many uh, hours you have left, 52%. So it's 52% charged, and we have 30 hours left on it. That's with nothing plugged in, though, uh, just to give you an idea. <clears throat> so let's kind of go over all your little uh, different things here. Let's go over the uh, basically the outputs first. Uh, we'll start right down here with the pure sine wave inverter. Uh, I guess I could just keep on pushing the button and turning it back on. I don't know. Uh, it's sitting on buckets, so you're going to see a little flex on this because I don't have a table. Uh, one of these days I'll be special and have a nice little desk to show you all this cool stuff. Uh, but anyways, <clears throat> moving on. So these two AC outlets right down here, uh, they're going to be uh, 120 volt 5 amp outlets, uh, 600 watts in total, uh, and they will surge at 1200 watts. Uh, for this pure sine wave AC inverter. Uh, and those are your outlets there for your AC plugs and whatnot. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and move uh, to your USB type C, which is right here. I guess I can keep on, I'm just going to keep on pushing that. Anyways, this is your USB type C, and it's uh, one of those at 100 watt max. Uh, so for your fast charging, depending on what you have, some people have like, you know, your smartphones and stuff like that and use this rapid charging uh, port, uh, but there's other devices that you can use for this. And moving on to your US type, uh, your USB A port, uh, you get two 5 volt by 3 amp USB A uh, ports as well. These are your outputs. Uh, let's move on to your 12 volt DC outlets, and uh, this is what's going to be up here. So this is your car uh, output right in this section here, and uh, you're going to get one 12 volt 10 amp car outlet right here, and then below that you're going to get your two uh, your two 12 volt 10 amp DC 55 your 5.5 millimeter outlet plugs uh, on there. Go ahead and close that. 
Um, and again, like I said, if I push DC, you got DC. If I push that, you got DC, and then you have them both uh, there. And like I said, the screen is really nice. And then we'll, we'll touch on what's on top of this here as well. Uh, so let's go to your inputs. You know, this is your input section down here. This is your circuit protector down here. You can push that if it pops on you or whatnot. Uh, but you have a couple inputs. Now, in a with your AC charging cable, which is this going to be right here, uh, which came with the unit, uh, it's going to be 268 watts max, okay? And that's in standard mode. Now, again, remember I told you uh, that you have an option for turbo mode. Uh, and turbo mode is going to give you a really cool function to actually increase the charging capability on something like this. And you can push it to 350 watts max uh, for turbo mode. All right, so let me go ahead and close that. I'm trying to put the screen off so you don't have to stare at my face and the reflection too much. And then here's your other, other input, your MPPT, uh, which is for your solar, uh, uh, what's going to call it, your solar input. Uh, and that's 200 watts max, uh, and that's 12 to 28 volts DC uh, with this plug in here. So that means if you have a 100 watt solar panel and you have two of those uh, with the proper associated gear, you can use two uh, solar uh, panels to charge this, or you can use, uh, you know, one of the 200 watt Blue Yeti uh, solar panels as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, like I said, you can also do a couple different things. You can do a car input. Uh, from this and you can charge it that way as well uh, through here uh, and some people depending if you have a 12 or 24 volt cigarette lighter port uh, you can run either one of those through there uh, via DC uh, and then again what's really cool uh, like I said you can do AC and solar on this thing uh, I think for a total combined uh, of input of 430 watts uh, and that's with uh, the AC and the solar uh, or dual AC simultaneously uh, I might have misspoke Uh, because, like I said, depending on what blocks you have, you can use the old EB55 or EB70 plug uh, in this section here. Or you can just use it the, the charger that comes with it. And you may notice that this is standard, like, uh, you know, your PCs and other units like this, your old TVs and stuff like that, have a plug just like this. Uh, so you might have even extra cords laying around uh, for this unit. Uh, if anything else I wanted to kind of discuss but i can't think of anything uh just off the top of my head there uh, we'll go back outside and look at the recharge time for this unit uh, using that you plan on using be it if you're going to be using dual ac if you're going to be using uh ac and solar and whatnot and i'm going to bring this camera up real quick and just back it up so that you can see the wireless output there at 15 watts for some of you folks that have those type of phones or watches or whatever gadgets you have that have the wireless charging capability all in all, like I said, the screen is pretty nice there. Uh, I think it's a pretty nice screen. Uh, again, uh, I don't know if I want the light or not, uh, but we'll go over it again just in case I missed it. Uh, but you can push this uh, button here, and that's going to show you the light. I'm going to try to back up a little bit. Uh, that's low, and then you have a high uh, there. And then you also have the emergency mode right here. And hopefully that doesn't mess with you guys' uh, things. I guess I should put a warning. Strobing effect. But all in all, that is the gist of this Blue Yeti uh, EB3A. Uh, and like I said, I always like to get feedback from you guys in the comment section. Let's go ahead and wrap this up outside and talk about the recharge time and uh, so on and so forth and some ways that you can use this unit. All right, folks. So uh, now we're back out in the Florida hot and humid weather today. Um, just wanted to throw that in there, folks. Anyways, uh, let's kind of look at the recharge time of this unit here uh, because that's what counts, right? A lot of you folks, well, you know, when you buy something like this or you use something like this, how long does it take, uh, you know, once you deplete the power in the unit, how long does it take to kind of recharge the unit uh, and ways to recharge it? So if you're using the AC charging cable uh, in turbo mode at 350 watts, you're gonna, it's going to charge into 1.3 to 1.8 hours. So roughly one and a half hours to get back to uh, maximum capacity uh, to recharge this thing. Now, if you're just doing it in standard mode, um, it says one and a half to two hours uh, to charge it. So depending on which direction you're gonna go to, you're gonna be looking anywhere from a little over an hour uh, to two hours, depending if you're using turbo or standard mode. Now, when it comes to solar, this is always gonna be dependent on how much sunshine, the angle, and all that fun stuff like that. So this is kind of going to be like a 
uh, a roundabout w uh, number, you know what I mean? Uh, but here on their website, and I like how they added this to this, but if you're using a 200 watt solar panel, uh, or possibly two 100 watt solar panels, depending on what's beneficial to you and what you have, uh, it says 1.8 to two hours to charge the unit. Um, and that's with prime sunshine, ideal orientation, and low temperature. Well, usually if the sun's out here in Florida, there is no low temperature. It's hot. It's hot out. So like I said, depending on your environment, this can fluctuate. But optimally, uh, 1.8 to 2 hours using a 200 watt solar panel, which Blue Yeti does sell on their website. Uh, and uh, they, let me say they have the 120s and the 200 watts. Um, so depending on what you do and come to find out if you have the proper equipment and you don't have a Blue Yeti, uh, you know, or you have some other system, you know, out there, you know, be it Rock Pals or, or Upis or, or whatever manufacturer that you happen to be using, uh, you can use some of their solar panels as well. That's what one thing about these companies uh, is there's an industry standard on solar connections most of the time. Uh, I've even seen people use the Harbor Freight solar panels, 100 watt solar panels, uh, and plug them into units like this as well. Uh, just make sure that you understand what you're plugging into it and how much power this thing can handle. Most of these things have a you know protector in there, a surge protector and whatnot, like we talked about on the front of the screen uh, inside. And then uh, last but not least, there's a couple other options. You have a 12 volt or 24 volt car outlet at 100 watts to 200 watts. Uh, and they can range from the 12 volts, you're looking at 3.2 to 3.7 hours to a full charge. And if you're using 200 watts, 1.9 to 2.4 hours. Uh, they've done a lot of extensive testing in here. Uh, and I know there's some folks out there that have all this, you know, nice, cool, really intricate gear to put on top of these machines and show you this and do, you know, a lot of uh, creative editing and whatnot. Uh, but Blue Yeti has been around for quite some time. You've seen, you folks have probably seen many, many reviews. So they do put a lot of thought and work into their numbers. They're not trying to get over on you by telling you these numbers because, you know, and with any product that you ever happen to purchase, be it a unit like this or whatever you may get down the road, uh, there's always going to be some fluctuations in these. Uh, so these are always the rough estimates uh, when it comes down to it. Uh, anyways, moving on, uh, when you want to do dual AC, like we discussed, uh, to me, that's by far the fastest way to charge this unit, uh, which to me is, like I said, very, very cool with a unit like this, because uh, if you need something quick uh, and you want to take this on the go, uh, having that capability is awesome. So uh, with a dual AC, it says 1.2 to 1.7 hours uh, with optional Blue Yeti T200 adapter. And see, uh, I don't know if you guys are probably won't be able to see it from there, but so I have a another Blue Yeti unit that I have, uh, so I can plug in here and then also use the plug that it comes with here. So that's uh, that's how I could use a dual AC aspect. I don't know how well you guys can see this on the camera, but this is from the EB55 that I have, or EB70, I have a couple of them. Uh, and, uh, and then this is just plugging it directly in the wall. So this is the way you would do a dual AC charging which to me is phenomenal, phenomenal. I mean, I mean that that's awesome. You know what I mean? Uh, because the faster I can get this thing charged up, let's say a storm is coming, there's a hurricane coming my way, and I need to charge all my, uh, you know, my power stations and whatnot. The faster that I can get them charged and ready for what's to come, is awesome. And I know there might be some folks out there that might be like, well, you know, if uh, if uh, something happens really, really quick, uh, you know, you might be without. Well. Could be, could be, but I do have a lot of different solar panels as well and other different options. These are things that you need to think about depending on the purpose that you're going to be using a unit like this for. Uh, so that's what you always got. You always got to have that forethought. What, why would I buy this and what will I be using it for? You know, uh, will I be using it for a CPAP machine for an emergency situation? Will I be using this in a car uh, to run, let's say, a compressor, you know, to air up my tires for my spare, you know, because it wasn't. Uh, you know, pumped up properly or, or whatever the situation may be, you need to know, okay, this is the unit I'm buying. Why am I buying it? How do I charge it? And all the ins and outs uh, for it. You can't buy this little tiny unit here uh, and expect to run your refrigerator, microwave, and stove. You know, it, that's just, it's just, does, that's not logically, it won't logically make sense. You're, uh, you can't do that with something like this. You're going to definitely have to invest a lot more money uh, for something like that. Now, this being said, um, let me see if uh, they have the price here for this unit, because this unit is super new, and I'm trying to see here uh, if they have that price. 
uh, for it. And I don't see it yet. I don't see it on their website. Uh, I think it was supposed to come in around... Uh, let me see here. I'm just going to look really fast in case I do see it. My apologies. I'll cut here and then come back to it. All right, so now that I found the price, it took me a little bit to dig around there because, like I said, this is a brand new unit released this month. Uh, and uh, what I found is the MSRP is going to be $299. Um, I don't think I have a code or not. If I do have a code, I'll put it down below for Blue Yeti. I am uh, an affiliate partner with that, but I've had so much trouble uh, logging into their system and whatnot that uh, it, it doesn't really bother me. I don't really care about that. I just like to review products. Uh, and share them with the community. Uh, but $299, 300 bucks, uh, that's not bad. And Blue Yeti is always running promos. Uh, you know, there's always having discount codes. If you sign up for this, you get $50 off. Uh, you can sign up for their emails and, and, and all that jazz. You know what I mean? You can find ways to save money. So you could probably get this as low as like 250 bucks for a unit like that. So again, this is an entry level unit, folks. Uh, let me know what you think, you know, uh, down below in the comments. I love always hearing back from you folks. Uh, in the community, you know, what would you use this for? Uh, is it, would something like this interest you, or do you need something a lot bigger? Uh, you know, do you prefer different brands? You know, I'd love to hear your feedback uh, when it comes to this type of stuff, because this is not something cheap that you go out, you know, and spend a few dollars on some canned goods or whatnot. Uh, this is more of an investment uh, for a lot of you folks, that, especially if you're on a fixed income and whatnot. Anyways, hopefully uh, this was uh, informative as I possibly could make it. Again, like I said, it's new. Uh, matter of fact, I'll probably be doing a little quick thing on the EB55 uh, because there's going to be a Father's Day giveaway uh, that uh, I think I'm going to be a part of uh, and possibly giving away an EB55 uh, through Blue Yeti and myself. So look forward to that. Other than that, drop it down in the comment. If, uh, drop a you know drop anything down in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Truly appreciate that. Other than that, you know, be safe out there, folks, and know that you're not alone. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys on the rebound. God bless.